stand to your feet. Praise you, Lord. We honor you, O oh God. Father God, it's in Jesus' name. We come before you in this moment that you've given us. And before we ask you for anything, we just want to thank you for everything. We thank you, O oh God, because in this city we have more blessings than we have problems. In this city, we have more working for us than working against us because you are on our side. We thank you, Father, that you said in your word that if your people who are called by your name, if we would humble ourselves and pray, seek your face and turn from our wicked ways, that you would hear from heaven and that you would forgive our sins and heal our land. Lord, we have sins that need to be forgiven. We have a land that needs to be healed. And you are the God that heals us. Lord, today as we kneel in prayer, we pray for the judges of our city. But God, before they ever sat on a bench, you were already sitting on the throne. You are the God that sits high, but you look low. I thank you, O oh God, because your judgment and your rule is perpetual. It's eternal. It lasts forever. So I'm asking you, O oh Father, if you would write your commandments upon the tablets of the hearts of the judges of our city, 
You said that the heart of the king is in the hand of the Lord. And Lord, you have the ability to turn them any direction you desire. So I'm asking you, Lord, by your spirit, let the judges of this city be so sensitive to your justice. Let them be so sensitive to your voice that they can hear you at a whisper. I'm asking you to cover them, protect them, and cover their families. I ask you, oh God, that you will lead them and guide them into all truths and righteousness, that when they sit on that bench, oh God, that they will not be moved by the culture, that they will not be moved by personal uh, motives, God, but they'll be moved by your spirit. I'm asking you, Lord, in the court system of Lynchburg, Virginia, be glorified in Jesus' mighty name.